Ravens. And as we have Dodger catcher A.J. Ellis with us here in the top of the fourth, I want to ask you, A.J., at, at what was it after the third home run by Grandall yesterday that you knew you were going to have the day <laughs> off today? How does, how does that go? Oh, man, uh, what a great day for Yaz. What a great for the club. And uh, just fun to see him kind of bust out in that way. Um, man, pretty special night um, and, you know, for him not to, uh, to miss those fastballs. Um, big swings we, def uh, we desperately needed last night. You guys have really had to uh, do double duty here. Speaking of you and Yasmani, in terms of receiving a lot of different starting pitchers this year, it's it's hard to imagine how many starters the Dodgers have needed to uh, to try to keep up with the Giants this year. Yeah, I mean, there's been a lot of guys. A lot of guys have come and stepped up. A lot of guys making their major league debuts. Um, so um, it's been it's been fun and challenging at the same time. But um, you know, that's part of the, part of the, the best, uh, best part about being a catcher is trying to. Uh, get those guys through uh, four or five, six um, quality innings to turn the game over to the bullpen and uh, uh, also speaks to the Dodgers and, and, and our front office and our ability to, to really acquire a lot of depth um, that, that we've seen of had this, this uh, number of guys be able to pitch at the major league level. Well, we've been spoiled watching the greatest pitcher in the game. Uh, I'm, a ma I'm, a, I'm, I'm amazed every time I see him, but you get a pretty good seat for Mr. Kershaw. <laughs> Explain what that's like. Oh wow! Um, yeah, to be 60 feet away from him, um, you know, for the last five years, um, you know, I've had a lot of great moments together. But um, just to watch um, the way he goes about his business, um, you know, on and off the field. But everybody always wants to talk to me about what you know, what a hard worker Clayton is. And I, I try to remind people, yeah, he works hard. But what Clayton does that's different is he works consistently. You know, he he never takes never takes a day off. He knows exactly what he wants to do when he comes to the ballpark. He sticks to his regiment, sticks to his routine. Um, and uh, I think that's what separates him. Um, you know, human nature has, you know, day games after night games. You want to cut some corners, maybe, you know, only run 12 poles or, you know, when I'm supposed to run 16. But, uh, you know, Clayton sticks to his, his routine, and he knows when he takes them out on that fifth day. Um, he's pitching with no regrets. Um, and obviously it, it shows when he goes out there and, and just competes. Is he truly the best ping pong player on the team? Well, you know, it's, it's interesting you brought that up. We saw J.J. Hardy in a rare interleague game, um, you know, this last, this last uh, homestand with the Orioles. And people keep talking to us about how great J.J. is. So, um, you know, we need to get that matchup set up. We also need to get you down here, John. We, everybody <laughs> tells us what a great pong player you are. Um, you know, he has, he, that's what the, kind of, the thing that's really kind of affecting him most being on the disabled list right now is his inability to practice his ping pong is he's got his big charity event coming up. Uh, that's right. Um, you know, in the next month or so, um, which is just an awesome night here at Dodger Stadium. And um, we're, we're athletes and celebrities kind of come together and have a nice little fun celebrity ping pong tournament to, to raise some money for some, some really important things that are important to Clayton's life. Kemp runs and Jan Herbie Salarte sends a fly ball out to right. Just missed this one as Puig is under it. Solarte making a bid for home runs in consecutive at bats, and there is one away. AJ, let, let's talk a little bit about Brandon McCarthy, who no, has no, had no, to come back here. after the Tommy John surgery. You caught him twice last year, and I know that Yasmani caught him on Sunday when he made his debut against Colorado. Do you have conversations with pitchers who are coming off injuries when when they try to get their their arm strength built back up and their pitch count up to where it was before taking time away? Yeah, you know, I think what's great about, you know, having um, all these guys here, you know, uh, Brandon and, and Brett Anderson, there's another guy who's disabled, and, and Alex Wood is, you know, we're, we're here with these guys when we're in town. So, you know, Yasmani and myself, we always try to take the opportunity to catch these guys, you know, in the bullpen or in their live BPs. And, you know, as those, those things, were, as major league catchers, we're able to give them feedback on what we're seeing. And um, so we're able to have conversations with them in the moment. And then, you know, later on the bench when, when we're all sitting on the side watching the game together, kind of talk about, um, how they're progressing and what we saw when we were, uh, we were catching them um, either in that game or that live BP. You know, you've been here for a while and you've seen a few managers. Uh, I can't imagine somebody more upbeat than the manager Man. you have right now. It is, that is such an infectious energy that he brings every day. Um, it's so genuine. It's so positive. Um, you come to the ballpark every day. Um, and you're just kind of uplifted when you see him kind of bounce his way through the clubhouse and um, out, out into the dugout. Um, you definitely feel him, his presence when you're out there on the field. Um, and it's, you know, if, if you can't play for Dave, it's, it's tough to play for anybody because he uh, this is a great man to play for. Upton grounds to shortstop. Seeger goes to second and they cut down Kemp. So two away with Upton aboard. AJ, all-star break coming up. Is that a, uh, a chance for you to recharge the batteries or do you have other plans next week? No, it's definitely, uh, definitely time to recharge. Um, you know, I think we, we open up. Um, after the break um, against the Diamondbacks in AZ. So uh, actually the family and myself, we're going to take a full week in Arizona. We're going to go over to Scottsdale and stay there for a week and just hang out together um, and kind of roll that into that first series coming out. So, you know, making up for, uh, you know, that missed family time that happens in the first half when kids are in school back home and um, 
you know, kind of away, and um, it's great to get the, that real FaceTime as opposed to that iPhone FaceTime that we uh, we tend to get. Boy, you uh, you do what you can to buck the trend. So you go to Milwaukee in the winter <laughs> and Phoenix in the summer. <laughs> well, obviously you can tell the weather doesn't affect me, but uh, you know we'll be uh, we'll be definitely doing some indoor activities. And uh, I, I hope I told my kids I hope you guys are cool with some night swimming because uh, you know when it cools down to about 95 uh, at about 8 o'clock at night, it'll be time for us to hop in the pool. But uh, it's going to be a good week. Um, I'm looking forward to um, resting, but I'm also looking forward to, to watching my teammates. Um, you know, next week in San Diego, I'm really excited to see Corey in his first All-Star game, probably first of probably 20. Um, the way he the way he goes about his business out there, short stop and plays, and and Kenley Jansen, who's who's really deserving of being an All-Star for many years now, finally getting his first chance to showcase his talent. Um, you know, in that All-Star setting, so excited to watch those guys. Um, you know, uh, play on Tuesday. AJ, we appreciate the visit as always. Enjoy the All-Star break. Hey, thanks you guys. Take care. Dr. Catcher AJ Ellis joining us. One on, two.